Hello everyone. I thought I knew all the secret hidey holes on Derelict, but a player by the name of F3, followed by a long alphanumeric sequence, proved me wrong. There's essentially an attic space between the front and back halves of the map, with access just above the glass hallway that's in the middle of the map. If you want to practice this, go to Bronze Outlaw and leave an Adi alive. And if you happen to be using a pull character when you do this, you can grab the Adi and drop it on top of any double stacked box that's near LZ or Alt LZ. And it will be trapped there, which is going to leave you free to explore the map and do whatever you want without having to keep an eye on where it is. To access the attic, jump on top of the fishbowl here. That's one access point right there. And here's the other. It's harder to get up on the west side, and you need to grab that edge there and pull yourself up. Almost made it that time. When I initially tested accessing this area with Dragon Ruse, we both noticed right away that the east side is far easier than the west. Even though it looks the same on both ends, there's slightly more space on the east, which makes it easier to jump in, and if you jump high enough, you land on kind of like an invisible ledge that's midway up, and then you jump fully into the attic from there. You can only get back out through the west access point, all you do is drop through it and you're good to go. If you try to do that on the east, for whatever reason you just kind of get stuck and are forced to jump back up into the attic. Beware that hole there and the one that's on the other side as well. They drop you into a section of the map that's valid space so you don't get kicked, but there's nowhere to go and no way back up, so you're basically trapped until you drop out and come back in. Once you know about those, you're good to explore. Anytime you jump or climb to a slightly higher section, uh, the game's going to tell you return to the map, and if you stay out of bounds, it's going to kick you, so don't go too crazy. Going to the extreme east or west edge of the map, you can jump through the gaps in the wall, which will get you kicked back to the map proper. And those ledges that you can kind of see clipping in and out of existence right there, you can grab onto those and climb up there, but they're out of bounds, so don't stay there too long. So while I was exploring like a giddy little kid, Dragon's first question was, how is this going to be viable? And all in all, it's not really. Even though you can see pretty much everything that's outside from within here, those are walls that you're looking through, so you need piercing rounds to hit anything. The Turian agent could conceivably wreak some havoc from up here with Tac Visor. And Dragon did point out that you can still get skill lock for targeting if you happen to be at the right angle, depending on where you're standing compared to where the enemy's position is. So it's it's it can be done, but it's tricky. Um, but skills that work in, say, like Zero's Glass Room don't all work here. Sometimes the Exemplar's Energy Drain Overload combo would work. Other times Overload would be blocked, even though I had the the skill lock target on the enemy at the time. Weapons and skills work fine through the access points. I mean, the line of sight is limited, but the paw works. Um, you can drop turrets out there down to the regular map. Throw and other skills work fine. Uh, you can cast pull through the access points and yank enemies up into the attic space. But if you hold them too high, or if you let them go and they, they drop to the ground that you're standing on, uh, they'll time out and despawn. So it seems like this area's best use is going to be as an alternative to trying to get into the rafters that are over LZ. The learning curve to get in here was much more forgiving than it is trying to access the rafters. And if you mess up, you can more than likely try it three or four, maybe even five times before the enemies are on you. But if you're trying to get to the rafters, if you screw up the jump, I mean, you maybe get two attempts before you're being shot at and three attempts before you're being swarmed. So it's a little bit easier to get up here if you're somebody that has trouble getting into the rafters. And I did test this on Platinum. Um, Wave 7 worked fine. Nothing really cared that I was up here. It is also worth noting that being up here, just like other kind of hiding areas and other maps that the game has, 
Um, a lot of enemies will focus on you and just kind of stop moving since they can't really get to you. Which can make doing hacks or uploads a little easier. If the other person is, say, an Avenger, you jump up here on a hack or an upload. The Avenger stays cloaked, all the enemies on the map freeze, making the objective significantly easier to finish. And for Wave 7 on Extraction, um, initially I, I dropped out at 15 seconds, but that got me to LZ with enough time to, like, look around, make some coffee, and potentially get killed waiting for the buzzer. So in 10 seconds should be fine, you just drop out, you can jump right onto the wall, run straight towards LZ, and dash in there, and, and you're done. So if you're bored hanging out in the rafters over LZ, come swing by the attic. We're going to work on getting a barista up here, and I can conceivably see a good-sized dance floor. But we've got to get funding from corporate first, so until then, thanks for watching.